Hi, and welcome to my fifth Java programming tutorial. Instead of using Notepad as we have done in previous tutorials, we will be writing our source code in TextPad in this one and some future tutorials. We'll go through some others later on. You can download TextPad from www.textpad.com and this editor can simplify coding, compiling, and running Java programs. I see that a lot of universities use it as a beginning editor and you can download it and use it for free but there will pop up an annoying message about registering and payment. It doesn't cost much so if you like it consider paying for it. There's one catch. If you have downloaded and installed JDK and put in the path as uh, explained in tutorial 1, I think you'll be fine. If you install TextPad first and then the Java development kit, you might have some tweaking to do. The problem will uh, most likely be that on uh, tools and external tools, you might not get the choice uh, of uh, compile Java and uh, run Java application which we need. I'm not planning on a tutorial on installing TextPad, but if you run into problems, I might be able to solve them. Just so it is mentioned, you can still use Notepad or another more suitable editor to follow this uh, example. Okay, we have already used the primitive data type int, as in integer and whole number, in our tutorial 3. I thought we would go through the primitive data type double today, and make a program that uh, gives us the area of a uh, rectangle. It involves a little bit of math, but uh, you're not going to get anywhere in Java without it, and this is as simple as it gets. First, we'll make our head comment. In our case, we'll just write what the program will do for us. Using double to calculate the area of a rectangle. And then our first uh, lines of uh, code class rectangle 1. That's what we'll call it. Public static void main string that's with a capital S brackets, orgs, like that. This we've uh, covered earlier. But before we write too much source code, let's uh, save it. File, save as, and we'll call it exactly the same thing as our class. Rectangle 1 and save it as a Java type. That's very important. Now afterwards you can see that TextPad uses different colors to indicate different things in your source code. Uh, like here, keywords are blue, comments and uh, strings, which we'll uh, get to later on, will be green, brackets and parentheses will be red, and advanced editors will help you out with the source code, but uh, you don't want that until you get the hang of it. Right now you just want to write all the code yourself. So the question is, why a rectangle? Well, a rectangle can be the size of a room, a football field, and lots of other things. What we need is data, or let's call it measurement input for our program, we need to know the calculation formula so the program can give an answer and we need to have that answer as an output so we can see it on the screen. Now bear with me for a few seconds. To be honest I haven't the slightest clue as to who my audience is so in this tutorial I'll show you what we need in a more visual manner. I have uh, drawn this up in a PDF file. Now the area of a rectangle is given by multiplying the width with the height. So if uh, these squares here are uh, square meters or square feet, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as the width. 
and we have one, two, three, four as the height. And if we multiply that, we get 20. And uh, inside uh, this rectangle, we have one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20 square meters or square feet. So width times height will give you the area of a rectangle. Okay, back to our source code. Data type, which in uh, our case is uh, double. And variable name, which will be width. And we have to initialize it. We have to know the width of uh, our rectangle. Equals, let's say, 5.0. And in Java, we do not use comma. It's not 5 comma zero it's five period or five dot zero and then we end it with the semicolon and then we have the height double height equals 4.0 now we have the width and we have uh, the height and we need to multiply them double area equals width times height and that's our uh, calculation formula now we need an output to the screen system out print ln as in print line the area of our rectangle is area let's call it square meters and a semicolon at the end and then we need our square brackets now our program is actually finished so uh, we'll go up to tools and external tools compile Java because we need to compile it now and we get tool completed successfully and that's exactly what we want and then tools external tools run Java application the area of our rectangle is 20 square meters and that's the answer we want now the reason we're using double for decimal numbers instead of int for whole numbers is because even though our rectangle is 20 square meters it is seldom we are going to come out to exactly so and so many meters maybe the width is uh, 5.2 meters so let's put uh, that in instead 5.2 as uh, width tools external tools compile Java run Java application and we get 20.8 square meters and right now this is where we need double instead of int for now this program seems to work but there is more we need to think about. First of all, we can't keep going into the program every time we need to change the measurement. We want a uh, pop-up box where the measurements are entered and changed without going into the program. And we also need to be aware of wrong measurements. For example, let's say width is uh, minus 5.0. If we now take um, compile, and run we're going to get a wrong measurement we're going to get minus 20.0 square meters which we know is wrong but the program doesn't know that we'll get uh, back to that next tutorial we need to take a look at the uh, different types of errors and add a little bit on our program like uh, the perimeter until next time